streaming yet again. I'm streaming for a third day in a row. It's a fucking miracle. Mainly the reason why is because I've gotten to the weirdest part of my career. The multiverse thing. <laughs> Got to that last night and I'm like, I'm or this morning I guess technically. Um, but yeah. I, yeah, no, I did. I was playing this playing it this morning. So I streamed like, I think it was like five to seven podcast. Some big news happening on the indie scene involving the BCW and Baron Blade. And unfortunately, once again, it's not anything positive. I have it on good. I can't stand fake fucking. Uh, fake fucking uh, JR's. Nope. The next night. Wonderful. That'd be so great. Oh, wait. Is this storyline start out with fucking uh, Bray White poisoning hey, me? Just wanted to let you know we're wrestling tonight. And it's for the title. Uh, yeah, Kurt actually texted me about it this morning. My dad texted My dad texted you? He never responds to my text because he says he's not really a texter. Huh. That's odd. Anyway, want a picture together? Uh, sure, I guess. Is this something you normally do with your opponents? Not really. I just thought it would be a nice memento for you to have after you lose your title tonight. That's a keeper. I'll text you the pick. Uh, thanks. Actually, no, on second thought, I'm not really a texter. <laughs> We've been waiting a long time for this one. The championship is up for grabs right here, next. It's Jason Jordan taking on some tough competition. Stakes don't get much higher than this. A title on the line. That seriously doesn't sound... I, is that supposed to be JoJo? Oh, this should be good. Woo! Hey, Byron, here's a little trivia question for you. Who's the only person with the NXT, SmackDown, and Raw Tag Team titles? Oh, I know. Jason Jordan. For the first time in your life, Saxton, you're right. <laughs> you read it off my notes. Fair point. <laughs> Jason Jordan joined Raw in 2017 as general manager Kurt Angle's son. What a wonderful moment you that was. the news. I know. It was the proudest thing I've ever done. What a beautiful family. <laughs> The superstar known as Buzz is here. Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger. Ooh. What did you guys think of Buzz's decision to keep the Intercontinental title oh, rather than his custom title? I mean, it was a no-brainer. Do you want a prestigious title that guys like Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels once held? Or do you want a self-awarded, made-up title that has no history? I wish he could have kept both titles, but I respect Kurt Angle's decision. 
at least Buzz will always have his title as a keepsake. Nonetheless, that decision won't matter at all if Buzz slips up tonight and Jason Jordan walks away with the championship. That one fails to connect. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully executed, though. Ooh, what impact. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, look at the, the pump handle. Thunderous slam. God damn. Scoop slam. Challenger starting to falter. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. Call me crazy, but this might be one of those rare instances where the champion actually enters the match as the underdog. I know it sounds odd, but it really seems like the champ is up against a headwind here. It's locked in. Got a tap. Got a tap. Oh, man. Sorry, headbutt. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. You're not crazy, Byron. The champ certainly has an uphill battle here. And while it's rare, we have seen the challenger head into the match as the heavy favorite. Bruno San Martino challenging Stan Stasiak in 1973 immediately comes Sean to mind. Stasiak is decent. I almost said Mary. Sean Wait, did you really just say that Saxton is not crazy, Cole? Oh, my God. Flipping pile driver. Spike. Nobody does it quite like him. There's not many superstars that can pull that off. Slam with authority. Jason Jordan getting absolute. The champion into the cover. Oh, dude. And he got a near fall oh, out of it. You, He's Jason. not giving up that easy. Should just stay down. Should just stay down. I even like Jason Jordan. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Is he done? He releases it. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. Jason Jordan just too fast for him. Great agility. Champ not looking good right now. Many see him as one of the greatest champions of this era. Hoping to end it here. This is at two. And the champ kicks out. He just powered out there, Cole. Mm -hmm. Just barely got out of the way. He's lining him up. If he sticks this, he is done. Oh, and the rep gets absolutely floored. Yeah, but let's be honest, the light breeze would knock him over. Obviously a great opportunity here for the challenger who can't afford to make any mistakes here tonight. Not when you're in the ring with a champion as dominant as this one. Ah, I made him bleed. Bleed, motherfucker, bleed. Oh my gosh, what a tie. To follow up Byron's earlier point, the challenger has to remember just how rare championship opportunities truly are here in WWE. A loss here could result in a trip to the back of the line. Don't worry, Cole. This isn't the challenger's first rodeo. Everybody knows exactly what's at stake here. No reverses it. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh my god. Oh. Spiked him. Now that's how you successfully defend your title. If it doesn't end the match this time, it might be time for a new finish. Brain Buster! Man, looked like the champ was down and out for a moment there, but not anymore. I can tell you guys that this arena sold out in record time, and a lot of that has to do. God damn it. Three, he's just my fucker. You can put this singles match in the books.
Let's take a look at some of the action from that match. Wow. Canadian Destroyer. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. I could watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great I actually like that. The brain buster on the pit. You think Jason Jordan still wants to take a selfie with Buzz now? Real classy, Byron. What the heck? Do you hear the buzz? It's the sound of the cicada emerging after years of slumber from their underground existence. Just as you have emerged from the underground and made your presence known. Unfortunately for the cicada, when it tunnels its way to the Earth's surface, it only has mere weeks to live before it is eaten by a predator. Well, I am that predator. For I am the eater of worlds. You should have stayed, you should have stayed underground, my friend. Because now I am coming for you. <laughs> this has the potential to be a very bad situation for Buzz. <laughs> now, if only they had this kind of writing in current day uh, WWE, it'd be great. <laughs> it'd be really good. Um. I'm rosining my bow. Buzz. Fucking. Next week. Hey, not to be weird or anything, but... I've been meaning to ask you since you got to Raw. What's up with you driving this retro van everywhere? Uh, it's just what I'm used to, I guess. I kind of lived in it when I was on the indie scene. Kind of? Okay, I, I definitely lived in it when time was tight. And then when I signed with WWE, I decided to uh, fix it up. Keep it running. Interesting. And the bug logo? Oh, this used to be my dad's work van for his exterminator business. It's pretty much the last thing he gave me. I guess his way of supporting my crazy wrestling dreams. That's cool. I mean, other than the fact that it still kind of smells like pesticide. Well, I think your dad would be really proud of what you've accomplished so far. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Now, don't go anywhere. We have a classic ah, coming Kurt up. Hawkins. We have one of our breakout talents against an imposing adversary. You don't want to miss it. Uh, Kurt Hawkins is an imposing adversary? I mean, Kurt Hawkins good and all, but... Uh, this what? man always makes an impact. Face the facts, man. This guy may never, ever win another match. And his opponent from Queens, New York, weighing in at 223 pounds, Kurt Hawkins. Okay, so it isn't for my fucking title. That's that's good. Oh, nasty impact. As Buzz is set to take on Kurt Hawkins in this non-title match, we have to discuss what happened last week when Bray Wyatt appeared and essentially threatened Buzz. That was creepy. I don't have a good feeling about what might happen next. When the Eater of Worlds sets his sights on you, nothing good can come from it. You have to wonder if the specter of Bray Wyatt looming over Buzz will be a distraction from him going forward. Normally, I'd say it would be a concern, but luckily he's facing Kurt Hawkins, who's on a bit of a losing streak, to say the least. Wicked clothesline! Oh. 
Set him up. for the cover and he kicks out that's either sheer genius or complete stupidity Cole right Headbutt. across the back of the neck he's starting to show signs of fatigue but he's very aware of Ouch. who he's in there with and what he has to do to reach out yeah but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his I wouldn't look too much into this right now I'm not going to go so far as to say he can't win this match but things certainly aren't looking good for him right now uh-oh, this doesn't look good, Byron. Yeah, this is how people end up getting hurt. Crashing down the hard way. What height. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. Slam. Impactful. Well, Jar, you're fine. Oh, he's able to reverse it. When this guy's on, look out. Harsh impact. Nailed it. Just ain't gonna do it. Going for something else, it seems. I suspect he knows something that we don't, Cole. Why else would he just let him out of that hole? Oh, this might be it. Oh, my. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Forcefully delivered. He looks a bit off his game here. He needs to create some space and find a way to get back on the offensive. If his opponent somehow wins this thing, you could likely go back to this moment as the turning point of the match. You've got to believe this one's over. Watch out. And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Look at this. Oh, nice. Let's open up that cut. Hey, hey, you're going to get yourself disqualified. He's making a statement here with this attack. Whoa, he lets him out. What a fool. He had him dead to rights. 
He's not going to go quietly. No superstar work his salt ever does. Oh boy, he is warm. Trap the arm. Neck breaker. Fuck you. That could be it. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. We know what's coming here. Oh boy, he is warm. Oh my god. And Boom, baby control. destroyer. That should do it. Man, that was a sight to behold. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. But what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. A minor miracle might be needed to overcome this beating. And the cover for the win. This is it. Yeah, I don't believe that, that he didn't win this match right there. It's way too early. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Sharp knee. Here's the cover. That's not going to do it. I don't think his opponent was expecting that. Oh, what a close line. <laughs> Snap Mare. Oh, going right after the neck. Missed the place it. Lightning fast reflexes. He's going for it all. Look out! Looking for the finish. Looking for the finish. This could end it in a hurry. Oh, what a brain buster! Oh, nasty. This could be it. It's a slam. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left? He's got him down. Oh. This is it. Two. Three. 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 I was going to say, you better not Buzz pick out a two back to back finishes. Wow. Congratulations, Buzz. Now let's take a look back at these guys in action. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again. Oh, I expect the Bray Wyatt blackout. Yeah. You Not again. again. It's the sound of insects buzzing all around us. But unlike you, they serve a purpose. My fireflies light up the night so maggots can seek out and dine on rotten flesh and waste. But you? You're simply a parasite, feeding off of everyone you encounter and giving nothing in return. Your lineage itself was built on someone whose sole purpose was to leave death in their path. To exterminate. And I find that amusing. Because that is exactly what I'm going to do to you. You see, at TLC, you can leave your precious title at home. I'm not concerned with that trivial ornament. What I am concerned with is your demise. Your extermination. I'm not going to stand here and let you try to play mind games with me. But what I will do is accept your challenge for a match at TLC. What is happening? <laughs> I have no idea, but this is a sick man we're dealing with. <laughs> Luckily, we're not the ones dealing with him. He's Buzz's problem now at TLC. Look how 
loading screen for this is just fucking <laughs> broken Matt Hardy just you know I think it's actually called rosing up his bow like you know yeah, yeah. Um, hey Matt sorry to interrupt um whatever it is you're doing what does it look like I'm rosining my violin bow as one does uh yeah of course uh listen I've got a match coming up against Bray Wyatt and I was just kind of hoping you might be able to Give me some advice. Brother Buzz, are you woken? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> if one is not woken, then there is no hope in combating a force such as the monster you speak of. And even I, who is supremely woken, have lost many battles to him in the Great War. Okay, so how do I become... Woken. That is like asking how your vessel breathes the air. It must materialize on its own. Or there is the technique of a jaunt to the multiverse, but all this <laughs> rosining about and dispensing of wisdom has given me much weary. I must retreat to my quarters. Good evening, come here. Okay, thanks, I guess. I guess. Well, I'm not sure that was very helpful for Buzz. Coming up next oh, up. Oh, it's Bray Wyatt. I like how just the, these two tip, like tips, you know. It's like, oh, Mrs. You know, is like six hundred days. And they're ready to go in the backstage area. Oh, what an uppercut. Oh, nasty impact. Never a dull moment around here. Belly to back suplex. He's playing with him now. He wants no part of this. Bray Wyatt on the defensive. He's going to have to cut off his opponent's offense quickly. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. You seem more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. what makes him one of the best in the business. Got the leg. Bang and screw. That'll tear your knee up. What grace. Float over into the... Ooh, what impact. Vertical suplex. Nice. 
Looks like he's starting to falter. His hopes of winning this match appear to be dwindling in a hurry. He's really starting to look fatigued here, guys. And when that happens, your whole body starts to give out on you. He's going to need to be careful here. He's taking on some damage, but so is his opponent. This man is slammed down hard. But he's got to capitalize now. That'll readjust your spine. What a strike. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Ray Wyatt drives his opponent down with a urinal. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Let me tell you, the human body was not meant to be slammed like that. Is he really going to do this? This is bad. Oh, no. No, this is sick. Sister Abigail! Come on now! Please don't do this! Oh, my God! What kind of twisted individual would destroy something that meant so much to Buzz? Bray Wyatt would. The man operates under a different set of rules. Uh, I can't believe this. I don't care about the fucking maze. I don't care about lies. Give me notes about fucking Bray Wyatt or Matt Hardy or fucking Jeff Hardy or fucking anybody, goddamn. Not fucking the Miz and not goddamn Elias. There you see Buzz arriving for his match tonight at TLC versus Bray Wyatt. Yeah, I noticed he wasn't driving his van because Bray Wyatt torched it. And that wasn't just any van. It was a gift from his late father. You have to imagine he'll be seeking revenge on Bray Wyatt tonight. Yes. Da -da -da. God damn it, stop giving me shit. Okay. Hey. I know you were cleared by the doctor, but I need to personally make sure you're both physically and mentally. Hey, you probably don't want to talk about it right now, but I'm sorry about what Bray did to your van. I know it meant a lot to you. Thanks. I appreciate you saying that. Wait, 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 wait. Were you going to hug me because that's your thing, or because you're worried about what might happen tonight? Um, more the second one. <laughs> I'll be fine. The only person anyone should be worried about is Bray Wyatt. It's Bray Wyatt. I'm taking you to my compound. I oh, know he's okay. He's, not taking, he's literally just gonna drag me to his compound. Where is Bray taking him? Somebody needs to stop this. <laughs> the fucked up thing is like, it's just like there are people in the back and they nobody noticed this. I know it's like...
follow the figure. That's fucking zombie Triple H. Because he buries people. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to follow fucking dude with the bat. I'm going to master mast attacker. Fuck off with the goddamn Miz. I don't give a fuck. Taylor D D C This is Kinda of fucking weird. I fucking... <sighs> I love how they treat the camera. <laughs> so weird. So fucking weird.
Get Bray White, <laughs> Bray White, Bray White to the tractor. Fucking two by four. Hello, viewers. I'd be like, hey, Bray, fuck you. <laughs> Followed the buzzards. Which I really, it is really funny. It's like, follow the buzzards. <laughs> it works really well. But I'm just a huge fucking mark, so... This would set the tone for Bray Wyatt's career in the WWE. Having shit feuds because of shit writing? <laughs> I guess what the fuck? Oh shit, I have. Yes. Yes. Okay. Grapple fence.
How are you feeling today? Not great. I'm sore. I have a nasty headache. I only remember bits and pieces of what happened. Probably a side effect of whatever Bray Wyatt used to knock you unconscious. Could also explain some of the things I saw out there. A full recovery is what's most important right now. But unfortunately, we don't know yet how long that might take. So I have some bad news. Triple H is making me strip you of the Intercontinental Championship due to the injuries you've suffered. I'll make it back in time to defend the title. I know I can. I believe you can too. But Triple H doesn't want to wait around and see. He said his decision was final. I'm sorry. I'll try my best to give you a chance to regain the Intercontinental title when you return. Now try to get some rest, okay? So that was all in one night. <laughs> okay. That makes no sense, but whatever. Weeks later. It's been weeks since we last saw Buzz after his kidnapping and battle with Bray Wyatt Welcome at Wyatt's compound. Raw. I know you don't like to ease into things, so you'll be in action tonight in a tag match versus the bar. Yeah, I got your text about it earlier. Who's my partner? I thought I'd leave that up to you. Can it be Matt Hardy? Not the Miz. Uh, Tim Bella. Hey. The scuttlebutt around town is that you're looking for a covert. After tonight, they will never forget the name of. Something's different about you. No, I just figured it out. It's that... You... There's no way in hell I'd be your tag partner. Buckle up, because we have a contest that's going to blow the roof off this place. We have a team led by a real fan favorite. And you know this tag team match has the makings of a classic. Dreams. Pure gold. <laughs> and his partner from Hollywood, <laughs> California, weighing in at two hundred thirty two pounds. It's so weird, he... I think he's thinner than he's ever been. Almost. Shame on.
The Cesaro section is out in full force with a Swiss cyborg tonight. Oh. Beautiful technique. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Harsh impact. Corey, you touched on this before, part of a tag team's ability to... Oh my God, flipping pile driver, spike. And the odds just swung in Buzz's favor. I'm gonna... Counter here. Boom, what impact. Sheamus looking a little shaken here. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. I know it's early, oh, but man. he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. Suplex. Right in the mouth. Relent. Enough already. which is what we're seeing here. It's no secret that quick tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning would be. Yeah, but if you count them out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. Too quick for him there. Right in the mouth. Relax. Nobody controls the pace of a match. Quite like this guy. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Oh boy, he is rolling. Final oh. driver spiked him. Victory is on the horizon. <laughs> what does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Rainbuster. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Buzz into the cover. predicament and Sheamus powers out I'm just as shocked as everyone else Cole right in the mouth relax boom right in the button and Sheamus slips out of harm's way yeah. oh Buzz just barely got out of the way Is he done? Oh, and he releases the hold. Wow. Part of me thought that was it, Cole. And Seamus slips out of harm's way. Ooh, earth-shattering spine buster. 
the stop in the leg. Looks nasty. He's looking a little off balance. He's always up for a challenge, and tonight is no different. This is one of the more evenly matched contests we've seen in quite some time. From the looks of things, it could really go either way. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relent. Goldust taking a break. Going for the big one. Is he done? And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Trust me, if you're a WWE superstar, this is not where you want to be. No way. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double-team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard. The heart attack from the... Can he score the pin? Yeah, he's got a lot left in him. Very nice. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. Oh, my God. Kyle Driver. Will Buzz be able to continue? I doubt it. with a goner. And it's reversed. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Oh, my right! And an attitude behind it. He's... Oh, clothesline! You've got to believe this one's over. The, he finds a half kick. Great elevation. The air just came out of the Cesaro section with that one. Oh, wow, I thought he was a goner. Oh, oh, great height. The end may be near, folks. Unless this thing turns around here, this tag team match is all but over. He has got to fight back. And you get the feeling that he's not going to look back at this match with great fondness. Oh, boy, he is rolling. And Sheamus slips out of harm's way. Oh, no, this is over. And there it is, boys. That just echoed throughout the... What are they going to do here? Oh, the Clover Lee! Check out the torque on the back. We I like how just, gold is just looking. This might be it! Oh, my! The tag team action underway here. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Big time slam! Vicious. Oh, the referee better get a hold of things. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. Continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. 
And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Dropkick hits the mark. You gotta believe this one's over. What a strike right on the mark. Here he goes. Is he done? Jeez, he let him out. Wow. A dubious decision there for sure. Bringing it back into the ring. Goldust comes in off the tag. Ooh, what a jawbreaker. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. out. He's going to do it. What a clothesline. Ouch. What a stop. Good grief. Uh-oh. Boom. That wasn't just an uppercut. That was 24 carats. Big elbow. Oh, nasty impact. Slap on Man, face first. Oh, what an uppercut. No one knows why Goldust does the things he does. Those details are probably better left off being a mystery. But we will all remember the name Goldust. Hey, let's face it. I don't think we have much choice. Oh, right to the face. Back between the ropes. Oh, bullshit. This is how you want to see a matchup like this end. And that's why I never really tag in. And set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Beautiful technique. Oh, look at that. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. It's decision time, Cole. Does he try to get back up? Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Cole and me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Ooh, what impact. Oh, fuck it. This should be a good one here. More bad for their opponent. Oh, right to the chest. Net breaker. Oh, right to the shoulder. Oh, my man. He's got him covered. Buzz with the easy kick out. Not yet. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, 
Burris just barely got out of the way. Flipping pile driver spiked. He's looking good now, guys. Not a lot of people can execute a flip as effective as that one. He might have it. Down with a brain buster. That'll scramble your brain. He's going for the pin. Digging deep for a kick out. It's difficult to keep the Celtic warrior on the mat. You can say that again. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Looks like he's starting to tire. You can bet this is not how he drew this one up. He's not looking good, and at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. He's not looking like himself right now, and I hate to say it, but this might be the beginning of the end for him here. This might be it! Oh, my! Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. He'd be smart to stay put there. He's got to hurry if he doesn't want to get counted out here. Time's certainly not on his side, Michael. And Sheamus slips out of harm's way. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. And guys, we're seeing Sheamus in a tough situation. Yeah, things look bad for the Celtic Warrior right now. He needs to find a way to create some space or else this thing's over. Sheamus' rugged training is the only reason he's still in this match. Oh, boy. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Well, he's tapped into a power source I wasn't sure he had. Let's see if he can keep it going. Ooh. What a punch! Oh, nasty impact. Nailed it. Counter here. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, my God. Flipping power driver. Spike. That should do it. We have our winners. These guys feel no love for each other. Here's another look. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent Here WWE are history. Your winners, the Psycho, Josh Carter, and Goldust. Looking dominant at times in the victory. No wonder these guys won. They work together like they've been teaming up since birth. What a great match we just saw here on Raw. Thank you to everybody at home for choosing to spend part of your Monday night with us. Oh, wow. I'm surprised I didn't get fucking attacked by Bray Wyatt. I'm assuming I'm going to talk to Matt Hardy and then have the weird fucked up... Despite the challenges Buzz faced tonight, he still managed to come out on top. What a return to Monday Night Raw. Not again. Apparently, Bray Wyatt has unfinished business. And he's not alone. Oh, and look at the punches. Teeing off. Sent to the outside. Oh, from behind. That'll give you some whiplash. Buzz is outnumbered now. What are they going to do? Ooh, what an elbow. Ouch. Ray Wyatt making his presence felt. What a shocking turn of events. It's Finn Balor. Luckily for Buzz, he appears to have made an ally in Finn Balor. I want to know who the heck that guy in the sheet mask was. Byron, go ask Bray. No, thanks. No, 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 no. Next to week. I welcomed you back last week because I missed you, Buzz. I really did. We became so close before your unfortunate injuries took you away from me. So I waited eagerly for you to return while you convalesced. But it was during that time 
that I met a man, someone who was once a host of your parasitic behavior. You traveled up and down the road together, but when it came time to emerge from the underground, you left his carcass for the vultures. He was no use to you anymore, but he is of great use to me. You see, in our last encounter, you destroyed something important to me, and now I will destroy someone important to you. But this is of your doing, Buzz. You left him for the vultures, remember? I'm simply doing what comes naturally, swooping down and consuming the flesh that you left exposed. We still have no idea who this guy is. You have got to be kidding me. Bray Wyatt has recruited Cole Quinn? Or whatever's left of him. Somehow, this just got even more personal. me I don't know what he's done to you but I know you're still in there somewhere you're just confused I know he can play tricks on your mind because that's what he did to me but whatever he told you it's not true I'm your friend I care about you your words are falling on deaf ears Cole show him whose side you're on Last time we saw Cole Quinn, he was wrestling in Japan. This is not the same Cole Quinn we saw then. No, that Cole Quinn was on good terms with Buzz, and now it appears Bray Wyatt has broken Cole down both physically and mentally. It's obvious that the issues between you two are far from over. So at Survivor Series, you're going to face each other in a rematch. But this time, I'm going to make sure that the match makes it to the ring and stays there. And there will also be no way for anyone to interfere. Because your match will be taking place in a steel cage. Buzz is going to get a shot to even the score with Bray Wyatt in a steel cage match at Survivor Series. We have 15 feet of steel. The stakes are enormous, and it's all happening next. We have a real fan favorite against Bray Wyatt. The WWE has been celebrating the steel cage for a long time, and this match has the ingredients to be a great one. The Indian Vader is here! It's Buzz! Making his way to the ring. The Fireflies are out. Look at definitely an electric feeling to this venue tonight. Look at this. Big slam. Got the shoulders down. And Wyatt with a quick kick out. Uh-uh. Ooh, what impact. You want to talk about a finishing move that puts your lights out? Just look at when Bray Wyatt drops an opponent with Sister Abigail.
We've seen so many superstars fall from the power of Bray Wyatt and from the devastation that occurs at his hands by the way of Sister Abigail. When we talk about the fear and the horror that's created by Bray Wyatt, so much of that can be attributed to the power of Sister Abigail. The maneuver is a chilling fate to all who try to stop the self-professed fear of worlds. We talk about how important stipulations are in a steel cage match. If superstars sign a contract where the only way to win is escape the cage and have both your feet touch the floor, the competitors must have a plan. Especially since you have to be comfortable trying to escape through the cage door as you do climbing over the top of the cage and vice versa. Corey, you touched on something moments ago. Buzz with the easy kick out. Too soon. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, man. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. God damn it. Drives his opponent down with a urinagi. Oh, He's looking good now, guys. He's got the shoulders down. He gets the shoulder up in time. Not yet. I'm not sure Bray Wyatt should be playing to the crowd right here. Boom, what impact! Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Nobody controls the pace of a match. Quite like this guy. Well, that was pretty. Can he end it here? Ray Wyatt's just getting overwhelmed. Going for it all here. Oh, what a slam! That That'll pretty much do it. I like how the ref was outside the ring. That's Cole Quinn. So much for the cage preventing anyone from interfering. And it's two on one yet again. Here comes Finn Balor. This is exactly what Kurt Angle didn't want to happen. Too late now. Sister Abigail on buzz. This time two, Finn Balor three. can't help him. It's over. Bray Wyatt has managed to defeat Buzz in a steel cage match where all hell broke loose. Uh, next night. Welcome back to Raw, where Buzz is still feeling the effects from his brutal match last night with Bray Wyatt. You're too late. I used up all the trainer's ice. I don't blame you. That was quite a battle out there last night. Well, thanks again for trying to even up the odds. No need for thanks. After what they did to me last night, it's become a little bit personal for me too I just can't believe that I gave it everything I had and Bray still managed to come out on top was it really everything of course it was what are you saying I'm saying to beat someone like Bray Wyatt you need to get past what you think are your limits and embrace your inner demon at least that's what worked for me I'm willing to do whatever it takes to beat Bray and get Cole back I just have no idea how I'm supposed to find my inner demon yeah. <laughs> if it is demons that you seek, you should consider venturing to the multiverse with me again. Again? Wait, did he say again? Uh, yeah, I've never been to the multiverse with you before. You have been before, in a different vessel, which is why it was deleted from your memory. Uh, I don't know about this. You said you were willing to do whatever <laughs> I love it that. takes. Uh, I don't know about this. I'm not sure about this either, Buzz. <laughs> I love how Bra uh, Finn is just like, you said anything. It's like, fuck. 
I thought a steel cage match was the best possible. Yeah, fuck you. Oh my god. Eh. Do not express worry. I have made. Or when exactly is it? The seven deities have deemed that the multiverse cannot be found on a map or in a calendar. Instead. Oh, yes. On your previous visit, I believe your spirit was held in the vessel of an ostrich. Such a fantastic. What a fantastic pheasant. Since he's become woken, he's clearly accessed some hidden. That's good. You can harness your. <laughs> I miss the days when I, were, I had to dress up like the miss. Welcome to the multiverse. It's delightful, isn't it? This is amazing. There is even more to see if you open your mind and look towards the cosmos. You will encounter the various vessels that we have existed in. Ah, yes. I was once a great Egyptian pharaoh in Giza. Unfortunately, that vessel met its demise from the bite of that wicked asp. So is he saying he was Cleopatra? Do you remember, Brother Buzz? You roamed about Antarctica centuries ago. Was I some kind of explorer? No. I was... You, you were a were polar, polar bear. bear. <laughs> oh, let me guess. I was a shark too. No. No. Your vessel was eaten by a shark off the coast of Australia in the 1940s. How gruesome. <laughs> I think it's the blade of Baron. Good match, Van Gogh. It seems as if we've slipped into the current dimension. I am truly happy for you. I don't want to be here. Big things are happening for us. He is a soul most tortured who has lived many conflicted existences. Wakey, wakey, wakey. I said I don't want to be here. Make it stop. You must Just face your fears to, to find your inner demon, yeah, brother Buzz. Due to hallucinations. I warned oh. you not to get on Triple H's back. You're like a stun to me. You're like a stun to me. You're like a stun to me. Stop. You did it. You're now ready to create your alter ego that will walk beside the Demon King. <laughs> what do I choose? A polar bear? Shark? I like Arctic Behemoth. King Cobra. The Deceiver. I kind of want to do... I kind of want to do Arctic Behemoth. Yeah. yeah. You are now ready to... Delete the consumer of terrestrial entities. Yes. It's like you've been gone for weeks, dude. You're like what? <laughs> it's like okay. I do love this because I've seen people play. It's like you've been gone for like weeks. Like we don't know where the fuck you went. You were just gone. Hey, where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. Bzzz. Wake Buzz. up. I'm talking to you. Finn? Where have you been? The I was in the multiverse with Matt Hardy finding my inner demon, just like you suggested. You've been gone for weeks. Weeks? Welcome back, Brother Buzz. 
I neglected to mention that the multiverse creates rifts in the Earth's time spectrum. What felt like 30 mortal minutes was indeed many weeks. Oh, God. But it was well worth it in your effort to make the vile Bray Wyatt obsolete. Ah, <laughs> yes. Weeks. You're probably a little out of sorts right now. But our big tag match versus Bray Wyatt and Cole is tonight. So you need to get your head on straight if we're going to defeat them and have any chance of helping Cole get out from under Bray's control. Don't worry, okay? I may have been gone for much longer than expected, but I found what I was looking for. And you'll be seeing it tonight. Weeks. <laughs> Weeks, fuck. It's like, Matt, what the fuck did you drug me with? It's just like the reality of the situation is like Matt just fucking drugged him and kept kept him in like a basement somewhere on bare minimum food just so he has these hallucinations. It's like what the fuck, Matt? Why the fuck did you do this? You're an evil bastard. This music is the least appropriate. I like it's, it's Buzz. It's like no, it's Finn Balor. I was gonna go with the Deceiver, but I'm like, because it's basically Finn, but like a reverse Finn. Finn's just like, sure. Which I also love the kayfabe that this keeps is like. I fucking love Finn's music. It's so good. Did you guys see the WWE 24 episode about Buzz? I highly recommend it. Yeah, you also highly recommend a sushi joint when we're in Topeka. I think I'm gonna pass. <laughs> And their opponent, at a combined weight of 495 pounds, Paul Quinn and Bray Wyatt. Mm -hmm. 
Here we go. This is. Ah, oh, fucking. Oops. I probably just skipped some shit. All right, it's a. Uh... After everything that's transpired oh. between Buzz and Bray Wyatt the last few months, it's come down to this: an Extreme Rules tag match where these four men are going to use everything at their disposal to tear each other apart. Let's not forget, despite Buzz's animosity for Bray Wyatt, he still wants to help Bray's partner Cole Quinn. That has to have an impact on Buzz's performance in this match. Well, Buzz is going to have to put that aside tonight because if he doesn't, he'll never be able to beat Bray Wyatt. Cole Quinn will be gone forever. I think he can. This is the side of Buzz like we've never seen before. Drop kick! Uh-oh. Beautiful mm -hmm. technique. Well, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Back inside the ring now. Oh, impactful slam! He's on the defensive here. Looks like he may have let his guard down. His shoulders are down. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Hooked up and you gotta believe this one's over. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I've ever seen a superstar smile more than Finn Balor. Unless, of course, he's competing as the demon. Then it's a whole other story. Boom! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jeez. Very wide on the defensive. The Tornado Tag Team atmosphere appears to be getting the best of him here. Sure, he's taking some punishment here, but given how much he prefers to be on the outside of the ring, he can very well change the outlook of the match with one shot. Byron touched on Ballard's multiple personas, and Corey, having that extra element, I would think, has to be an advantage for him. Well, especially if you don't know which one you're going to get. I mean, can you imagine expecting Smiley Finn Balor and ending up with the Demon? There's no coming back from that. And look at the quickness by Wyatt. Incredible. There's a lot of force behind that one. Something about Bray Wyatt that is even more harrowing is that whether the Eater of Worlds is leading a family or by himself, Bray Wyatt never truly walks alone. Someone or something is always lurking in the shadows. Valor looking to close this one out. Oh, 1916. But he's got to capitalize now. And Finn Balor might have just secured the victory. I want to focus on your corner. Who surrounds 1916? That should do it. This is fit. Oh, what's it gonna be? Catch suplex. And Wyatt with a quick kick out. Not yet. Oh, the driver spiked him. There is no coming back from that one. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Mr. Abigail, delivered by Bray Wyatt. Got every ounce of... He's looking for the win. This guy's a competitor. He's not going down yet. What a kick out. Oh, it is aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. And Finn Balor is larger than life out there. Harsh impact. Nice. Oh, my. And the odds just swung. Oh, just threw in your face. This is all and over. When this guy's on, look out. And here we go. Finn Balor with the cover. Barely at two and a half. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. Oh, my God. Whipping pile driver. Spike. Game, set, match. This one is over. Oh, what a slam that hurts! Here's his moment, but this could be it. Cover! Yes! Unreal performance! The Bearman and the Demon King. And here's another look at some incredible action from a match that we're not likely to stop talking about for a long, long time. <laughs> Hope everybody okay, knows. Okay, I was going to say, like, is it going to give Buzz any fucking highlights? Because that was a match you're going to want to watch mm -hmm. again and again and again. Epic. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action. He did it!
it. It took channeling his inner demon to walk alongside the demon king, Finn Balor. But Buzz has finally defeated Bray Wyatt. But where does Cole Quinn stand in all of this now? It's over now, Cole. Bray never cared about you. But I do. Come with me. Everything will be okay. I'm sorry, Buzz. I don't know what happened. It's okay. It's all over. This is bigger than revenge. Buzz has seemingly rescued his friend Cole Quinn from Bray Wyatt's control. Finn Balor doesn't just throw that gesture around to anyone. It's reminiscent of what we saw between Buzz and AJ Styles in Japan. But what does it mean? It means that Finn Balor and Buzz have formed a bond that won't soon be broken. <laughs> so fucking ridiculous. <sighs> Coke Wing cheap mask. Polar Bear Demon's mask. Yes. <laughs> Too sweet. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's Um, sixty now. I mean, I have.
Alright. So, we're done for the story of this stream. Mind. Blow my mind. Blow my mind. Alright. Go to my player. Fucking. Uh, let's go. Go to. Blue pack. Uh, let's see. Up in some loot packs. up in some move packs. Sleeper hold, another world Kinshasa. I like how the one where you uh, go in the corner and you like do his pose, like that's just called the strong style knee strike, but it's like it's fucking can they not call that like the Kinshasa? Even though that's I'm fairly certain that's how he does his Kinshasa most of the time. Or at least that's how he used to do it. Osaka Street Cutter, Diving Moon Salt. Calf Crusher, Reality Check, Power Bomb 10. Ooh, my, oh my mind. Ooh. Ooh, my mind, oh my mind. Dusty Road, baby. Cassius, oh, Cassius, oh no, yes, entrance. I want that. I should use that as my entrance. Well, hopefully that gives that means I have his music as well because I actually like his music. Let's see, Spin a Rooney, Angelo Dawkins, Adam Cole, <gasps> Adam Cole, Drew Gulak. Hmm. My my, roll my my. Let's see, Extreme Scott Hall. Hmm. I mean, he's doing well as far as I know because of DDP yoga. But it's like, ah. Gallagher. Fujinami. Alright. Do a couple more. Uh, do two more of these and then I'll go back to doing the moves. And when I'm done with the premium tokens, I'll, I'll stop too. I won't stop streaming right now. Because I gotta do pick, you know, moves and shit like that. Because uh, I have new shit to pick. So. Let's do some moves. Spinebuster, zigzag, elbow drop. Ugh. Yes. Pedigree. Roll down, ring out. Power slam, insane elbow, misdirection, clothesline, Shane McMahon combo. Go get three more. GTS2, strong style stomp. Taker Punch, Avalanche Pedigree, Sit Out Crucifix Power Bomb. I have. I should be able to do two more. I think. Randy Orton Stomp, Running Ambo Drop. 
Well, maybe I'll be able to get one more after this. Swinging knee lift. Thought I had that, but whatever. Yeah. Wow. Wow, I'm, a I'm able to get down below 10. Premium tokens. Ankle walk. Okay. So, let's go to edit. Go to move set. This is fucking Metallica. And then, after all the big shows I've done and all the venues I've sold, shut the fuck up, Elias. New items. Crowd approval. Extreme. Bushwhackers. Gallagher. Fujinami. Sasha Banks. Goldberg. Running up, Jason Jordan, champion. Sad? I, I get the feeling that's like. Uh, Oh, this is the... It's the Seth Rollins one. And see now, Bo. Next snap. Power slam. Strong style stomp. Oh, this is good vibrations. Yeah. Very bust uh... Oh shit, uh, Chasing the Dragon. From Undisputed Era. Boom, boom. GTS. I actually might have that as one of my finishers. Multiple power bombs. Sit out crucifix powder bomb. I do believe this is a Mr. Roman Reigns. What the fuck? Gory Iconoclasm. Like Trap DDT. Regal Cutter. Torture Rack Neck Breaker. Back wheel trip. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. Taunts. Do, yeah, Fujinami. Is that is Quake in reference to Earthquake? What the fuck? C T. The fuck is that a reference to? That's weird. Oh no, shit. Uh yeah, there we go. So, wait, deduction. Special moves. 
Oh shit, I forgot about that. Yeah, it's in the corner. I forgot I had that. Oklahoma Stampede. Yeah. Finishers. Last Chancery. Caribbean kick. What the fuck? Is this like a... Yeah, it was... Okay, it's a fucking... God damn it, Eminem. Fuck off. You're a piece of shit. Yeah, it's a front flip DDT. Do I die? Osaka Street Cutter. Super Kick. Pele Kick. Pump Handle. Oh, this is the boop. This is the Kevin Owens move. Boop. Pandle Power Slam. Punt Kick. RWMP Blue Thunder Bomb. What the fuck? Rack Attack. Rainmaker DDT. Ooh. Hey, we're cool, bomb. Record knee strike. Mmm. Do I do that? I'm so tempted to get the fucking ripcord because I I want to get the rain trigger. Uh, fuck. I was gonna fucking look for something. I what is lock? Least oak kick. Line Tamer, Line Saw, Lil Jimmy. Headlock driver? Oh, right, yeah. Do I die this? Yes. Hammerlock Lariat?
gut check, sick kick. How much is this? Mm. Do I do I go for the fucking the fucking uh, Katsuya Shibata? Gord Buster GTS? Oh, okay. That's what it is. Glitter Blizzard. <laughs> That's just a fucking, uh, oh, German suplex, and then Rainmaker, Gamma Giddy, Cartwheel, Moonsault. Future Shock, DDT. Snap suplex? Oh, okay. I, yeah, I have that. That's one of my moves. Fun pot error. That's called an Ushiguroshi. Uh, Vermis carry cutter. Fireman's carry backbreaker. Oh, that's the whoop where he flips. Yeah. Fireball punch. Oh, no, God. <sighs> Face lock. Knee drop. Oh, that's what I was going to look for. I was going to look for the G, uh, GTR. Uh, I know what the fuck it would be called. I'm just going to be like a reverse something. That's, that's, oh, okay, it's not, I was going to say that's <laughs> Destiny No, but I'm like, nah, it's not. Shaker. That's uh, what the fuck is it?
Smoling Blitz, okay. Sando Slam. Schoolboy Plex. Breaker Dragon Screw Showtime. I don't want to do that, but it's probably expensive. God damn, I have so many fucking... <sighs> Slouch tune. Tap? What the fuck is that? I'm assuming this is the. <laughs> Sliding B! Slingshot Decapitator. Small package driver. God's gift. God's last gift. Snapdragon German. Snap for reverse DDT. Southern Lights. Spider, oh yeah, Spike DDT. What the fuck? Suplex Netbreaker. Suplex Power Driver, I do believe, is a. 
Yeah, it's a Steiner screwdriver. Ooh. Sleep with the sl or breathe with the sling blade. Testicular claw. Texas pile driver. Tongan death grip. Top rope brain buster? Shit. I kind of want the German suplex ripcord lariat, but ripcord knee strike. Omega driver. Oh, this is the awful waffle. Boom. Yeah, that's, that's the fucking, uh, thing.
average pin. Thank you for being there, one viewer. <laughs> you are very much appreciated. Um, but I'm going to stop the stream now because I've just been digging around for like the past 20 minutes. Uh, have a good one.